In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, these days we are reflecting the Gospel of John, chapter 17, famously known as the Eucharistic Prayer of Jesus. In today's, uh, today's verses, the Lord prays for His apostles. He prays for them because so that they may live in unity and secondly that they may be protected from evil one. We see each one of us are the followers of Jesus because the Lord has given us the gift of faith to follow him. Therefore, there are so many denominations today in the church, those who believe in the name of Jesus. But the Lord wants all of us to give an unified witness, to live in unity, so that the world may know that you have sent me. The Lord prayed. Today's first reading also we see St. Paul urging the Ephesian elders, so-called the bishops of the Ephesian church, to save God, the family of God, the church of God, because there will be so many other leaders who will come within them with the twisted teachings, those wolves who will harm the unity of the church. There are so many elements today which bring about disunity and confusion in the church, but however it is the presence of Jesus which calms all such factions bringing about unity of faith and worship. Let us then pray that we may always remain too closely united with the believing community of God, the mystical body of church. Towards this grace, let us pray. Into your hands we commend our spirit, O God. Into your hands we commend our hearts, for we must die to ourselves in loving you. Into your hands we commend our love. O oh God, my God, why have you gone from me? Far from my prayers, far from my cries. To you I call, and you never answer me. You send no comfort, and I don't know why. Into your hands, become a spirit, O Lord. Into your hands, we command our life. For we must die. To ourselves in loving you, into your hands we commend our lives. Jesus, we thank you for you have prayed for us so that we may always live in fellowship and that we may be protected from evil one. We pray that in our thoughts, in our words and deeds, we may always witness for this love of God expressed through you for our sake on the cross. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, may protect us from all evil, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen.